And these ungodly people that walk around, they don't come up to us and see what, what we got going on and go about with their own time and see if it's true. They don't do that, man. They, because they don't care about, about themselves, man. Come. Read on. Right. And it says, and search the scriptures daily. And do what? And search the scriptures daily. And that's what we did. We searched the scriptures daily right, to see what those things is true. And we're, we're, we ain't telling our people that they have to be us off the off the rep, off the get go. You know when they come and listen to this, we're telling them man, go. You got the information, we're giving you the choir or whatever, right? Uh, we're giving you the precepts, man. Go and check it out, man. Right? Search the scriptures, man. God, Stay God. in it. God. That's that's all we telling them, you God. know. But but they can't even hear that, God. right? They always combat it, you know. God. Finish that out. Whether those things were so. Whether those things were what? So. Hey, precept, go ahead. Yeah, Khan, it's the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 11. Lock it. The book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 11, and it reads, And their words seem to them as idle tales. Right, and so, uh, uh, yeah, keep reading. And they believe them not. Right, so. They think that we was like fairy tales or something. Yeah, right? they think we, we uh, telling them about fables and you know mythological things. You know, they they read things like the unicorn in the Bible, and they be like, they point the finger and say, "See, man, that's 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 not real." But through <laughs> but through you know uh, uh, the precepts, through uh, looking at the actual word in the Hebrew, you can under get understanding of what that is, man. You know, wow. but our people they don't take the time to do it, man. All right. right. I don't understand, bro, because they believe in they believe that Jesus was was a white man, so you might as well believe unicorns were real. <laughs> they believe that you know Satan dropped down from heaven, you know, and he built against God or whatever. You might as well, right? They believe in, in, in hell and in Hades. You know, you're gonna get tortured. You know, in, in the mythological uh, uh, space and time continuum from all eternity, man. They believe in that. Well, Christians believe right? that uh, that you're gonna be like. Christians God. believe that like when the rapture comes, you're just gonna grow like angel wings, you're gonna right. be butt naked floating in the sky. Right, right. They never contested against yeah. that when, when they was told those things in, in the church. But but we make one point and it's all hell break loose, man. Yeah. Right? Why why don't you give them the same energy that you give us, man? Scrutinizing us and everything that we say. Yeah, why don't you people, scrutinize them? They got respect the persons, man. Right. Again. Yeah, read that again. Look at Luke chapter 24, verse 11, and it reads. Uh, Joshua 1 and 7. And their words seem to them as idle tales. Right? So and, our words seem to them as idle tales, man. Something that's just, you know, we we was drunk one day and we thought this tale. up. Basically, right? Uh, read. And they believed them not. Yeah, and they believed, and so they believed it not. You know? God. And, and... Hey, it's just a, a continuous thing, over and over and over again, man. It keeps happening over and over again. You, you got that, Joshua? Eight and seven. One and seven. One and seven. Yep. Read this is the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse seven, and it reads, "Only thou, uh, only be thou strong and very courageous, uh -huh. that thou mayest observe to do according to the all, uh, to all the law." And to what? Uh, according to, to all, all the, the law. law. And and that's the ultimate thing, man. They not they can't even pass that first step. Observe. They don't. And that's even... a that's a cut. My bad. So like, go ahead. Uh, I also to say that's a cut for people that don't believe that uh that that you should follow all the commandments right there because it says according to all the law. Right. Yeah. But they can't even pass the first step. They don't even want to observe the laws. Like actually read it. God. That's the first. Read it first and then do it. They can't even pass the first step. Huh? Our people, man, they still at that. They stood at the beginning, man. Right. The stages, man. They can't flip that game, man. They stood on the first hey, board, man. You know what I'm saying? They can't flip it, man. We we got we got the we got the knowledge, man, through the spirit, man. Right. We, we got, got over the, again. We got God. the ingredients, man. It says, only be thou strong and be very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses by servant commanded thee. Right. 
So that, that's the game plan, man. Uh, that's the what the um, the end enchilada, or I can't even remember the phrase. Enchilada. Yeah, the uh, enchilada. Uh, you know. Okay. So it's uh, the Book of Acts, so that, uh, chapter five, verse twenty-nine, and it reads: Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. We ought to obey God rather than men. So we supposed to obey the most high. Because you can't do go wrong with following these laws, bro. God. You following these laws, right? There's nothing that they can do against you, man. God. Right? But but our people are afraid to do these things, man. Read on. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah. Right. Whom ye slew and hung on the tree. So the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, man, you know. God. Yahweh. Raised up your house shot, man. Who whom they gave to the Romans to, to to be slew, you know, on the tree. And they couldn't even get the cross right. The Lord died on the X mark. Not not a literal T, man. That's like that's what the top that's the tile move, right? You got people glorifying that right. the jury out of it with a with a with a with a white Jesus on the cross on the jury. Uh -huh, crazy, people. man. Uh -huh, people. Kind. Yeah, kind. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey Yahweh rather than men. Uh -huh. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, whom ye slew and hung on the tree. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel right. and forgiveness of sin. But the Old Testament only think that he's raising up someone else that we don't even know about now. You know? So those it's brothers are lost and they're going to remain lost, you know? Kind of. you know this is the book of, um, Let this be our last one. Kind of. This is the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 31 and it reads, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him. So the Lord's going to bring up a massive army with him, man. Bro, you see the white man. You see the so-called white man brought right. The so-called white man brought his armies over here and took over this whole plan. God. Read on. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Uh -huh. Verse thirty-two. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Right, all nations going to be there, man. And what he's going to do? And he shall separate them one from another. Nah, he's going to mix them together. And he shall separate them one from another. Nah, he's going to say what the Greeks said, you know, in in uh, in Maccabees one and twenty one, when when they said all people is one. And he shall separate them one from another. Nah. Nah, man, that's not true. That's not what Christianity said. Christianity said that he coming together. And uh, bringing everybody together, man. And he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goat. Right. You already know who the sheep they is. You got time to hear the word? That's the, I believe in God. Y'all Israelites? Y'all know y'all Israelites? You, you know, y'all know the Mexicans are Israelites? Y'all read the Bible? Y'all know that the Mexicans are the, hey, pass them the thing right there. Look, y'all got one. Let me show y'all something real quick. 30 seconds. Hey, see, seconds. look, this ain't just a black thing, right? This is not just a black thing. This for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You want to break it down to them? Right, so the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we all just saying we all have a common ancestor. A Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, you guys read the Bible? You, you know about Abraham, right? You heard stories about him. You know about uh, Isaac and, and Jacob. So our forefather, uh, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, uh, we went on to a covenant with the Most High. We are those same people that walked through the Red Sea with Moses. You know, remember where the, the Egyptians chased them out of uh, Egypt to the Red Sea, and the Lord used the power of God to, to split the Red Sea. We are those same people that went through that. Give me, uh, uh, give me uh, Deuteronomy 15 and 15. Yeah, so we all have a common ancestor, but we all are from different tribes. You see, we, the, the so-called African-Americans, we are from the tribe of Judah, right? So uh, what is your nationality or, or on your father's side? What would you call yourselves? Native, Na Native Americans? Yeah. So That's what my grandpa was. Oh, yes, that's what your grandpa was? So you're not Mexican, like Mexicans Indian. or... Uh, we're, um, Latinos. Yes. Latinos? 
right? So you're either from the tribe of Gad, right? Or you're from the uh, tribe of uh, of Issachar, you know? And we put pictures to, to give you a rough idea, you know, of, of, uh, of what the tribes would look like uh, modern day uh, today, you know? So these are the uh, the Native Americans, right? Their forefather was Gad, you know? And the Mexicans, their forefather was Issachar, you know? Before the conquistadors came over to this land to strip them, you know, of their uh, nationality, you know? Because before, y'all knew yourselves as the, um, as the, uh, as the, uh, Taino Indians and, and the, um, other, uh, tribes, you know, you call yourself, right? So read that. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15, verse 15, and reads, and Thou shalt remember that thou was a bondman in the land of Egypt. So, the Lord wants us to know that we were bondmen in the land of Egypt, right? Yeah, read that. Hold on. The Lord wants us to know... The Lord wants us to know that we were bondmen in the land of Egypt, you know, and we were slaves under the Egyptians. And so the Lord used Moses to take us up out of the Egypt, and we went on a, con a covenant with him, right? Read on. Uh, and it reads, <clears throat> And the Lord thy God redeemed thee, therefore I command thee this thing today. So the Lord redeemed us out of that, and we went on a covenant with him, you know? Uh, so, and we broke that covenant, right? And this is a, a another uh, you know, a biblical uh, history, you know, to identify who the Mexicans were today. It, uh, this is uh, from Mysteries of the Past, page uh, eleven, right? Um, before long, Antonio's tale of Israelites who have wandered to America was escalated into a theory which put them among the founders of new world civilization, right? Because you guys believe that you were already on this land before the so-called white man came, right? Y'all parents teach, teach all that? Uh, like racism. No, not just the racism, but did they tell you that y'all was already here on this land yeah. before they came over there? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Your grandpa, right. Your grandpa, Indian. So ask your grandpa what had happened to the Native Americans that was already on this land when the white man came. Oh ask yeah, yeah. Him. Oh no, no. We, we know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Being, being you know why? You know that was happening. You know why? That lets you know that you were Israelite right up. Right, because uh, they call this place the New World, but people was already here. You guys was already here on this land, right? We're also in uh, Texas too. Yeah, yeah. We were Texas. all before before they took over. So yeah, brother, they took brother. they took the we they Israelite took Texas. Brother. They took the U.S. and they and, and they renamed it the Americas. You know. Yeah, they basically made it to the America and all that. So you know I mean? Right. Uh, Britain's Lord Kingsboro, for example, went through the family uh, fortune and landed in debtors' prison no less than three times. He died there the last time in order to publish uh, Dulux, uh subtlety illustrated volumes uh, proving that the Mexican Indians were descendants of the lost tribes, uh, right? And so that's what we're out here to tell you guys, like, who you guys are biblically, right? Because y'all know a lot of people read the Bible and they don't understand the, the biblical characters, like what, what their role is, you know? Those biblical characters actually have literal descendants and you're from one of those literal descendants, you know? The Lord made this earth for you guys, for us to rule him, you know? We are supposed to be following the laws of the Bible, not the laws of, of, of America. But, but since we sin against the Lord, the Lord has to send his son, Jesus, to give us a second chance, you know, to come back to him, you know, to get grafted back in, right? So, and so that's the core message. Go ahead. Huh? So, but, but I'm going to let y'all go after this. So your dad, your, 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 your grandfather, he taught y'all about what happened to the Indians here. Yeah. So question, how do y'all feel about Thanksgiving? Y'all got all these nations. And everybody celebrates Thanksgiving to the slaughter of your grandfather's people. How you feel about that? You know, you know, on you know on Thanksgiving, you know they slaughtered over 200 million Native Americans. The so-called white man did that on that day, and we celebrated like it's a regular holiday today. That's how crazy. Old you You're, how old are you, guys? Um, 19, 19. Right. So yeah, so just. Uh, check out the information. Check it out. It's, it's all there. You well, know, the stuff that you did say, we do you know, right? all, yeah. all, yeah. all praise It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I want y'all. I want y'all. Hey. Yeah. It's sad. Well, it's a life, man. Yeah. Yeah. I be cool. Yeah. I brother. Y'all be cool about it. Yeah, so, uh, you read the Bible. Yeah.
people right here on the side, these are the people of God right here, man. Not what the white man told you, know, so, so like the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, the so-called African Americans, all the way to the uh, Latinos. We coming back for these people right here. You, you could, uh, if you got time, this brother, he can show you real quick. Oh, you got time for the Bible? Yeah, you when I come out, I, 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 all right, brother. Come on, come on, all right. Cash money is. I'm strange.